they knock the uh, self groomer off the wall again. I have to put more self adhesive tape on it. Oh, she's looking for it. Look. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Today, the cats are getting Trader Joe's tuna for cats, and there's some water in there, and there's a little bit of crunchies. I took the digger away since they vomited on it, and I washed it. That's why I took it away to wash it, and I haven't put it back yet. So, right now, they're getting some crunchies, and Simba is uh, scratching in the litter box because I just scooped out their litter boxes. Good morning, Boo. How are you? It is like dark and cloudy out. But, oh my gosh, it is almost 50 degrees. Wow, that's like a 50 degree difference in less than a week. I am so happy, even though it's raining and cloudy and dark, because hopefully all of the snow will melt today. A whole bunch of the snow is already gone. Now, when Boo's back leg was shaved, I think it was back in September, and it still has not grown in to match his other fur. I mean, it's grown in, but I'm trying to get him to turn around. But I don't know if you guys could see it, but can you see that? See this whole section here? How it's way shorter than the rest of his fur? Isn't that funny? It's been so long. It's been like four months. What would you like? You knock my hand away and then you want to touch it? What would you like? What would you like today, boo? Would you like some breakfast? Would you like to have tuna for breakfast? Because that's what we're having. Tuna's on the menu. Okay, did, I'm assuming you want to play, right? That's, that's why you're, like, pawing at me. Would you like to get some morning playtime in? Right now, it is, I would say, around 7 p.m., I think, and it is 52 degrees out, which is just awesome. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food, but look, breakfast is still in the feeder. I would say that's probably half of the breakfast, although it's hard to tell because this is a heated bowl, so, um, Maybe just like a lot of water has been evaporated out of it. I don't know. Um, I've not seen Hydrox. And it's also weird that there are no birds eating the food. Because a lot of times if Hydrox doesn't eat it, then birds will eat it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe it's because the weather's so warm that uh, Hydrox is out hunting and eating fresh food. I don't know. But um, this is the food I was going to give him. And what I am going to do is just... Uh, put a cover on this and put it in the refrigerator and give it to him tomorrow. Hello Stella, you ready to eat? Stella loves it when I pet her before they eat. But I know Stella's just a player. Stella's a player. She'll play you to get food. Right Stella? You guys hear Stella purring? Stella's purring, and Simba's purring. There's Simba, and there's Splash. Hello, Splash. Oh, ooh. Stella just nudged my arm. She was like, don't pet him, pet me.
Oh, she decided she owns the camera. Hello, Stella. So, they left some of the tuna from breakfast. I had also given them some dry food on that platter. Hey, Simba. Oh, here's Stella again. You want me to pet your tummy, Stella? No? Don't pet the tummy? Pet the head? Oh, don't pet your head? What do you want me to do? Just admire you? Is that what you want me to do? Do you want me to pet your back? No? Don't pet your back either? You just want to hang out? What do you want to do, Stella? You want to eat? Okay. How are you? Did you have a nice day? Mm. Did you have a nice day, boo? Do you guys see how the fur is different on the leg? Boo ate all of his breakfast. Like he loves any kind of canned food. Usually, well, I can just say that Boo usually loves any kind of canned fish. Oops, sorry, Boo. It is 10.55 p.m. The question is, are we gonna have treats or are we gonna have crunchies? Stella, would you like treats or would you like crunchies? You don't care? Simba, would you like treats or would you like crunchies? Treats or crunchies? You don't care. Splash, would you like treats or crunchies? You don't care. Okay, we're all eating treats. Everyone got two treats. Everyone's sitting in a row. Eat your treats, Splash. Eat them. Stella. Simba. Everyone is eating their treats except for Splash. I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting near them. Maybe he doesn't like these. Oh, maybe he's going to eat them eventually. Sometimes he does that. It takes him a little while to eat them. The only problem is that when he does that, sometimes Simba or Stella uh, jumps on them. Jumps on the treats, I mean. So we just finished this bag of Delightables. It says they are BHA and BHT wheat and soy free. Um, I guess the cats kind of like these, but I'm not too thrilled with these. I don't like that they have byproduct meal in them, so that's really not something I'm thrilled about. But there was just a little bit left in this bag, so I figured they might as well finish it. The other bag that is open that just has a little bit left is this Frisky's Party Mix, and this also has byproduct meal in it, so I'm not too thrilled with this either, but I think this came like with one of the toys or something, so uh, they've been eating this every now and then. They'll have some of this, so I might just give them a few of these and maybe finish off the bag. 9.23 a.m. Good morning, boo. I have to put new batteries in all of the cat toys. All of the batteries have been completely worn out. What a long cat you are, boo. Look how long you are when you stretch out. Boo was on free roam all night. He slept uh, in the cat tower for part of the night. He slept on the bed for part of the night. He roamed around and played for part of the night. Right, boo? So today, I gave Simba and Stella a little exercise. I left the bottom gate on and then I put their wheatgrass here. That way they would have to jump the fence. And uh, that's good for them. It's good for them to climb 
and jump and it uses you know different muscles than just you know running and playing I mean they get to climb and jump on their cat towers and stuff but maybe it would be really cool to have like a cat climbing wall you know you know how they have like climbing walls for people do they have climbing walls for cats I think that would be awesome anyway this is what wheatgrass looks like when it has not been properly taken care of at all. Like, this has not been watered properly. And I think it's only like a week old. I just totally forgot to um, properly care for it. But Simba still likes it, right? Look what happened. I just noticed this. Someone rubbed the self-groomer right off the wall. I'm going to have to apply new tape maybe, but right now I'm just gonna stick it back on the wall. Can you guys see how discolored that wall is? Like where the cat's rubbing it. Like see all that, all the rubbing? <laughs> it's like they're rubbing the paint off the wall. It is about 2.55 p.m. and I just got out of where I like to buy the large bags of the raw cat food for the cats. Uh, they are the only store that I know of that sells the really large bags of the raw food. PetSmart and Petco, they have the raw food, but they have the smaller, it's like, they sell like the 1.25 pound bags and um, Pet Goods has the 3.5 pound bags. Um, so I like to just stock up here, and then if I run out or I'm getting low, I can get the smaller bags at Petco or PetSmart when they have them, because a lot of times they're sold out. Um, so I just bought two of the large bags of the Nature's Variety Instinct raw food and one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, and this usually lasts the cats about two weeks. And I got super lucky because normally um, the Nature's Variety Wrap is there in the morning. And if I get here in the morning, then she'll hand me some coupons. And, and I figured since I was shopping later in the afternoon, she would definitely not be there. But I ended up randomly running into her when I was walking down one of the aisles. It was the weirdest thing. For some reason, I felt drawn to walk down the aisle with the automatic feeders just because I wanted to see if there were any new automatic feeders that might be of interest to feed the cats dry food. And she just happened to be walking in the opposite direction down that same aisle. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so weird to run into you here. Are you working? And she was like, uh, no, she was just returning some stuff. So uh, she handed me a bunch of coupons. So I ended up getting uh, $12 off. It was $6 off each bag. And she gave me an extra coupon to use uh, if I come in when she's not there. So I just did really good. It is 5, 10 p.m. And while I was out running errands today, I popped into two different Marshalls and two different Home Goods, and I found another one of these cat towers to uh, match this one. It's not a perfect match. I could not find one that was the same exact color. I did find one that was the same exact color. The only problem was that it was like, like all discolored around the top and it was like all worn out. I don't know how long it's been in the store, but it looked really beat up. Um, that was in one of the Marshalls. Then when I went to another Marshalls, uh, they had, actually they had like two or three of these and one was like a darker brown. And then this was the lightest one they had. This was the closest match that they had to this one. Now, when I brought this inside, the other cats were on free roam. And of course, Simba was the first one to come over and check it out. And he's already laid on the top of it. And both uh, Splash and Stella walked into the room and just like smelled the air like crazy. Like they smelled something was new. Uh, they went up to it and they smelled along the bottom of it. Of course, Simba was on top at the time. And um, 
so they recognize it. And here we go with Boo. Uh, Boo came right in the room and he went straight over to it to check it out. So what I'm hoping is that by having two of these here that have a top tower just tall enough to look out the window, that if Simba is laying on it and Boo uh, is in the room, they're not going to fight over that position because there's two of them. Yes, they're very, very close together, but there are two of them. And you know, like if Simba is laying in this one and Boo jumps up here, he could just lay down. And I know Splash and Simba will like to lay up here together. I mean, any of the cats will like to lay up here together. So right now, this is an experiment to see if they use the second one more than they use the other one that was there. The other one that was there was shorter. It was only like this tall. It was like maybe uh, a foot shorter than the window. And lately, I have seen like Simba laying on top of this one. And then Splash will be sitting in this one, but he won't be happy because he has to like sit up. They're much happier when they can like lay down and uh, look out the window and be super comfortable. And um, yeah, so that's one of the things that I got done today. I should mention that the price of this at Marshall's is $39.99. So I don't think that's a bad deal. These are made really, really well. They're really strong, they're really sturdy. And I had two gift cards from Christmas, so I ended up not having to pay anything for it. And I still had some money left on one of the gift cards. So that was awesome. Okay, guys, I want to show you something. There's a little bit of canned food on a spoon. And Boo is eating it while I'm holding the spoon. For Boo, this is huge. Look how nicely he's doing that. He's not clawing at me. He's not scratching me. This is really big. Just a little while ago, he was not able to do something like this at all. He would get like really just, I don't know if it was like overexcited or it was just like, um, just like a reaction. Like he didn't even think he would just kind of lash out and, uh, look what he just did. Good boy, boo. We have a deal. And, um, the deal is that when I open a can of cat food for Hydrox, Boo can eat one tiny spoonful, but he can't jump on any cats, right? He has to keep his feet on the floor when he's near the cats. All four feet on the floor at the same time, right, Boo? And then you get a little bit, you get a little taste of Hydrox's food. We have a deal. If you break that deal, you don't get any more tastes of food, right? It is about 20 degrees out, and uh, there's still water in the bowl, and there's still a little bit of cat food here, so um, I'm only going to put like half of the can in here. I just came inside, and there's Hydrox. He's eating the food, and he walked out of the cat shelter, so that's a good thing. I haven't seen him in a couple days. He's eating the food. It should be plenty of food for him. Maybe the birds haven't been eating as much food. He definitely does not look like he's starving or having a hard winter. I mean, yes, it's cold out, but he's had it a lot harder when he had no warm shelter to go in and he did not have an automatic feeder and he did not have a heated kitty cafe. I put the cat it digger back out and I gave them like a tablespoon of dry food in it. And then I also put like a tablespoon of dry food on their platter. And it looks like they ate all of it. And uh, they have to just wait like another hour or two until the raw food defrosts. I just put the raw food out, but it's still early. It's only a little bit after 5 p.m. And uh, right now, Stella, Splash, and Simba are all downstairs. Boo's upstairs on free roam. It is about 7.30 right now. Boo's getting his dinner. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. He's getting a little bit of crunchies. They're not getting their turkey today because it takes longer to defrost. And, um, yeah. Are you ready to eat, Boo? Are you ready to eat? Are you ready for dinner? Boo, you ready? Ready for dinner? Hello, Splash. Are you ready to eat? Splash, would you like some dinner? Are you ready to eat, Splashy? 
on some dinner. How about you, Simba? Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? You're hungry too? Okay. They knock the uh, self-groomer off the wall again. I have to put more self-adhesive tape on it. Oh, she's looking for it. Look. See, they miss it. There's a big difference. They're not getting the scratching that they would normally get with the groomer. Hello, Simba. doing? Ready to eat? Gonna clean your feet first. <laughs>